And we are back. Let's get it going here in losers quarterfinal. So just to let you all know, the rest of the schedule here will be for this match into winners finals. Then from there, we're gonna probably, depending on the schedule, probably might, might skip loser semis and then go to losers finals and grand finals. So there's still plenty of smash action available here and looks like we're gonna get into the first match let's get here last and we're gonna be your commentators for tonight what's up last greetings ladies and gentlemen I'm back i just wanted to give a quick shout out to the ramgar uh she was doing a fantastic job commentating with me she just had to step out for the rest of this tournament but it was great uh commentating with her uh and i'm going to put her Twitter in the chat if you would like to go give her a follow. That would be fantastic. Uh, but joining me now is G, the legend. The uh, I messed <laughs> I messed that up. I was about to say the man, the myth, the legend, and screwed it up really badly. Uh, anyway, uh, we're getting right into this match. Good up. I fixed it, but I don't know why. All right, so um, yeah, so we're gonna be getting here. These are, these two competitors have been such highlights of this tournament. Both of them here showing off like very like aggressive tendencies with their characters instead of what people usually kind of offer them to be more of like the zoners, campy, etc. Now you got to see Flash Blaze before with those fancy bomb tricks, uh, and then you've seen MK Big Boss already, so you know how both these competitors are. They definitely got the tools and the skill here to compete as far as they possibly can. Yeah, these and uh, we, gonna, we yeah. saw last uh, earlier with uh, Flash playing against uh, that uh, again. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, with Flash playing earlier in the tournament, he makes brilliant use of all of Link's kit. That was very good uh, kill at the ledge, just waiting till the perfect time when Rob's legend invincibility ran out and getting him with the F tilt. It was net for just a brief moment. It was perfectly even in percents, but this Rob was able to very quickly bring it back into his face. Oh no, that's the unfortunate. Oh, the, you know, the hashtag you were just talking about. Hashtag oh, fix ultimate like online. That, uh, it just be like that. So then, yeah, you're gonna see it here. Uh, that that be happening. So now, Flash Blaze get unfortunately down quite a large deficit. I mean, I would we wouldn't want to count them out just yet. I mean, it's not over till it's over. We saw an insane comeback done, from man. him earlier against Lenny. Oh, oh yeah, that's very true. So it's like, I mean, you never know, right? And especially Link, kind of like a heavy character. I mean, it's not looking too hot right now. Hopefully, it can kind of revitalize, maybe a little bit demoralize from like having to lose a stock like that. That could be a possibility. In, in my opinion, I also think there's that brilliant use of the bomb there, by the way. In my opinion, though, I believe that Rob is a terrible matchup for Link. Like, I believe it is very heavily in Rob's favor, and that is going to be it. Catches him with the up but it doesn't really matter considering that he can't recover. Rob is going to take game one very quickly after that unfortunate double SD from Link. It is now 1-0 in MK Big Boss's favor. Uh, yeah, just... Uh... It's just very unfortunate for Flash Blaze again, but you know, I mean, that's not, that wasn't entirely, how would I say this? Not, I don't want to say their fault, but they don't have to blame their play entirely from that because of the buffered air dodge is such a low percent. Hopefully in game two, we'll, we'll see something more closer resembling a battle, um, or we might see MK Big Boss kind of just take that first W and run away with the lead. Yeah, and this, uh, <laughs> this matchup is just, uh, again, like I was saying, I, I believe that it's very heavily in Rob's favor, not just because of the uh, the recovery, uh, Link being known for not a great recovery without being able to use bombs. What was that start? He's already at 57. I'm, I'm already eating my words. I should just, just not make any more predictions. I said something and was immediately wrong. I... That was any. But here's the thing, man. It was yeah. nice, but like, Link's have been stealing that technology from Young Link, actually. That was a very nice PMB to come up with. <laughs> oh, so very, very unfortunate with the angle of the bomb explosion killing Link. Uh, <laughs> despite the early lead that he built up, he is now at a deficit. And I don't think that MK Big Boss is going to waste that lead he's just been given. Uh, oh man, Flash just having some bad luck with this one, man. So it's gonna be another very unfortunate first stock. And he had it again, and I see what he was trying to go for. He wanted to really solidify that kill, uh, but it was very unfortunate. It did not pan off the way he had it planned. Remember back in like patch, I think it was 5.0, when Young Link could combo up B into up B? 
No. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, yeah I do that remember was, that. That oh, was the most so whack nice. stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, blazing Flash finally connect. Uh, sorry, Flash Blaziken. Can. Where did I get Blazing Flash? Yes. Finally connects with the neutral air to kill Rob, but he's at a massive entire stock disadvantage, and he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to be able to bring this back. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, it's just not going in Flash's favor, and I know this this player definitely a talented one. I, I've got I've had the pleasure to see him compete many times, and it's just as you saw with that. Uh, misfortunate uh, misdirection there in the first stock, and now he has to. He got sniped in the second one. You see, MK Big Boss, man, it's just running. But remember, him. both of these are in incredibly, insanely good players, and even if they lose here, that's a top five finish. The loser of this uh, loser's quarterfinals is guaranteed fifth place, which is no small feat to be sure. How it is just barely outside of the money. However, it's still nothing to be laughed at. I believe it's still also WWR points. If that's a thing that matters to you. <laughs> Big time. I know for sure these players love that. WWR is definitely an important uh, thing for Wi-Fi players. I know a lot of Wi-Fi players. Can we what talk about that? this beautiful no! combo? Flash was going no! for it. Oh my God. I Yo, thought he Flash. had that for a second. I was about to call that insane comeback we saw earlier with him on. That would have been incredible. Oh, my god, Flash Blaziken, is there... It's it's clutch box all over again, but in ultimate instead of melee. <laughs> Definitely, like, you said, look at this. What He's going for it. He's comeback so far, man. If he gets this W, that's going to be one of the most impressive comebacks. Here there it is! Tournament. And he's going to get it! Oh my god! And he gets, does connect with it. Oh Flash Blaziken, so who are you? I mean, we saw we saw a sneak preview of that when he blew off with that combo there at the start. That was crazy stuff. And then, uh, you know, you saw his stock just go bad luck very early. Imagine what and he could do if he didn't if he didn't get that bad net code in SD early on. That's that's some insane play right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dragon Slayer seven seven one seven seven asking in the chat if every tournament gives you WR WR points. No, it does not. Only tournaments that are qualified within their rule set do. You can uh, check out on their um, Discord. I believe you can find it through a variety of mediums. I know Cloudhead's Twitter, the uh, the runner of it, uh, has a link to the Discord. You can see all of their rules there. Uh, it's very simple. This one is currently an A tier tournament which means that the top eight get a certain amount of points out of it. The WWR is very well run. I love the dudes over there. They're great guys. Uh, and it's a great organization that does, again, great things for uh, for the, the Smash. Whole community, man. Yeah, like it's, it's really important because you know how a lot of times Wi-Fi is looked down upon a lot, but there's still a lot of competitors who really put their heart and soul into this. And, I mean, we're going to see it here. WWR awards them. And having an A tier, guys, say congratulations to you all there at Glow Point Bar. Yeah. Incredible uh, I mentioned this earlier, but I went to bed last night, and we had 200 people signed up. Woke up in the morning and saw 560, and I almost fainted. Yep. I When I saw 200 before I went to sleep yesterday, I had a feeling this was going to get really big and uh, you're seeing it here and i'm glad 600 people we got ourselves some amazing competitors such as the ones in front of us with flash already popping off some crazy combos but yeah like and again huge Seven. shout out to zen because uh he and i are co-hosting this thing i wouldn't be able to do it without him and this is beyond both of our wildest imaginations of what could happen but anyway enough with that let's keep watching these two players destroy each other <laughs> Know him. They're just incredible here, and they're always giving it their all. No matter the deficit, no matter like you know, they just the lead is extending. They still give it their all. They still go for it, and what a setup! But it's not going to get the bomb kill bounce yet. into forward tilt. I've never seen that before. That was insane. I've seen that. I've had the pleasure to see a lot of links because I mean, uh, the captain of the NG Wi-Fi crew, 1803, he's a link player. So I've seen a lot of these things. He's mentioned Flash Blaze to me. Yeah, before, huge shout out to A Train. He he's a sick wide. link player. Uh, he's such a nice person, dude. Such a cool dude. Great commentator as well. But I mean, as we're gonna see here, um, we're gonna see Flash Blaziken, his Link compadre right now, does have the percentage lead at the moment, but MK Big Boss slowly starting to bring that one back. Yeah, he started off with a very, very solid combo game to set up a lot of percent, but uh, MK Big Boss didn't let that get to him, just like Flash Blaziken with the comeback last game. And while it wasn't from quite as big of a deficit, uh, MK Big Boss not letting any of that get to him. However, that up throw 
is going to finish the stock and give Flash Blaziken a slight, slight lead. Now all he needs to do is build up as much percentage as he humanly can before this stock goes by the wayside. I mean, I have to say right here, this is the first time we finally get to see Flash Blaziken play a match where his stock did not go flying there at an early percent. Yeah, he's, he's no actually in the lead for the dodge, first time. He, he seems to be playing much better under pressure, but when he has the lead, let's see how he does with that. Yeah, that's going to be important. You're very right about that because it does happen. Some players actually just do perform better when they're in the deficit. But now you see here, MK Big Boss already going to be able to uh, tie up the, the stocks. But percentage there is trying to tally up there at MK Oof. Big Boss at 94% already. Oh, you know, you saw that. That was know, almost sick. Oh my God, it. I was ready to scream. Man, the setups that these two players come up with, especially Splash Blazes, because he's not often get to see Link. And I do remember earlier on the stream, you did mention this, pal. It's like you kind of wish there was more top level Link players, because look at that. They got the tools. Yeah, they're they just, the it's just such a technical and hard to play character. I respect the absolute heck out of anyone, especially like Flash Blaziken, who can play it at a top level like this. Because this is so impressive to watch, not just the, the, the combo skill, but the item management skill, the tech skill. All of that stuff just at play is insane to see. And Flash Blaziken showing that he deserves his spot as one of the best Wi-Fi links out there. Just getting barely caught by the tip of Rob's up smash there to take the stock. But this isn't too much of a deficit. And as we saw earlier, Blaziken plays best when he's in a deficit. So I think he just wanted to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, this is not feeling right. Me, I'm feeling it. Well, I, mean, I, <laughs> but I have to say, too, one of the things that we've been giving a lot of... Uh, praise for Flash Blaziken, but MK Big Boss has been a highlight for me as well. I really like his play style. Like, you know, he goes, he really goes in, he, he relies on his combos, and he has all these amazing setups. Like, if you don't tech, he's available. He's ready for you. He's like, oh, you didn't tech? Yeah, we tech? saw, okay, we saw well, that double down, down tilt F smash tech chase just a minute ago. That's very impressive to see pulled off at such a high level. Um, like you were saying, for both Flash Blaziken and MK Big Boss, they're quite unique among the mains of their characters. If you look at other high-level Rob players like Benny and the Jets, or if you look at other high-level Link players, you don't see them play the same way that these two players do. They're just completely unique. They have their own play style. It's insanely great to see both of them perform at such a high level. I know it's very entertaining because you know it's not like you're catching them at the other side, the opposite sides of the stage, just throwing things at each other. Like you see how they go for it, and just like that, it's gonna pay off as MK Big Boss sneaking in that back here and will be taking game three. Lanny's saying we need to see Flash Blaziken and then items beyond the backfield. I want to see that. The item management, oh, you know item management you know he's showing it? here with those bombs. I wonder how sick he could be with items on. So, uh, so wait, do you know about Beyond? Yeah, the I do. Oh, well, that's interesting. So yeah, so we haven't done one in a while, but uh, Lanny's actually hosting one um, this Saturday at 2 p.m. So it, it's not a regular tournament. It's super silly. It, it's always a different rule set. And what's really funny is we actually did have BR1 participate in one of them. And I think he won it. And it went to second set game 10 on 75 meters. Or yeah, I think that's how oh, it's called. Oh boy. Oh, I hate 75 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, and if the other player was like a, a very well, uh, very well known Zelda player as well, uh, GG George or Papu Cholin, as I don't know how, how anyone knows him now, um, but yeah, it, it's just really interesting because sometimes it shows, sometimes re even really good players just want to have a good time every now and then. Smash Nerd saying 75 meters should have been 25 meters. I agree because 75, I, I agree. 75 meters is so annoying. Uh. So just a quick update on how the rest of bracket is looking. Uh, currently, BR1AV and the Six Master are waiting for us uh, to get, get them on stream right after this. MK Big Boss obviously is up 2-1 against Flash Blaziken. And Sonics is currently up 1-0 against Capitancito. Uh, and we will be... Oh, so wow. whoever wins that game will be facing the winner of this set. And the loser of this set sadly will be out at fifth place. It's crazy to think of you know, such extraordinary competitors. And unfortunately, though, there could only be one. And now here we're going to be heading into game four with MK Big Boss in a one game lead so far in this set. What do you think? Do you think Flash could clutch it out, though, for the game? I five? think it's possible he could clutch it out whenever he feels like it. Uh, these players just don't know what a deficit means. 
They, I know it doesn't matter the percentage. They're still just going in. They're just throwing that's, everything. And I believe that's that's a very interesting thing to look at the the difference in between a really good player and just an okay player. They may like if you take two players with the the same amount of technical skill and put them up against each other, the one who doesn't get down in the dumps and give up when he's in a deficit is going to destroy the other. Because yeah, no, I agree with you. I mean, yeah, men mentality is super matters. The the and like you just yeah. the the incredible ability of these players to play through deficits without getting pressured into making mistakes is just amazing to see. It's I, I keep saying insane and I don't want to repeat the word, but it truly is insane. He double back aired, expected the get up, watched the first shield go down and got the kill. MK Big Boss, what are you? Are you a robot yourself? <laughs> The setup was really nice. He's still continuing the pressure, and you know that if he caught that second forward air, that would have been a side B finish, and that second stock would have been gone as well. Luckily for Flash, though, able to live right through it, but definitely has some work to do here in game four if you want to try to tie up the set for the game five. Uh, thank you, Toasty, for cheering five bits. Uh, <laughs> we were just shouting out your. Uh... Or sorry, Toast Lanny. I don't know why I said Toasty. Yeah, Toast we Lanny. were just shouting. Uh, we were just shouting out beyond the battlefield. Yeah, so I mean, definitely uh, landing right now in the lead with those 37 bits. Awesome stuff. I mean, I haven't seen a, a bits be used as often these days, but it's definitely great. But let's talk about that. Finally, Flash going to catch that landing and end that first stock. But now with such a lead right here, Flash Blades can definitely has to pull out some crazy combos. And we have seen him do it before, but this percentage is start needs to start kind of getting a little more closer to one another. You don't see very many... Uh raw double f smashes from a link especially at the top level ah! <laughs> getting caught in unfortunate uh up up smash that's going to take the stock quite early and probably way more uh way earlier than that link would have hoped that's very unfortunate you know, to get you, caught there. you know you know a match is crazy when the commentators can't even keep up like you were trying to talk about the, the big brain play and all of a sudden up smash just takes that stock away and now you see these two right here just throwing them and just exchanging blows here it's like a bar fight right there looks like uh goal point bar oof you gotta call 911 man you gotta take <laughs> it outside guys it out come right on here. <laughs> like we're, we're trying exactly. to run a drinking establishment oh <laughs> oh man that reminds so me of all the nikita plays out. we saw in the br1 game just getting hit by explosions while he's trying to recover Oh, that's very true. I mean, I'm sure MK Big Boss, you know, he's definitely happy that he doesn't have to deal with the key to this round, but he still got sniped by a bomb, but he's doing a great job right here. Woo what was that, that flash? Clutch. Again, we mentioned this earlier, the way he uses right. bombs is truly innovative. I want to see more Link players that play like this. This is... Oh! Oh my god, that was That was kids. almost an insane kill confirm, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the edge of my seat just waiting to see what these two do next. He might have it right here. Oh, luckily it's not going to be an untackable. And it didn't send him back there. But you see here how MK Big Boss needs to take a breather. He had to go all the way to the top. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me, this is getting out give me of a second right to now. figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Exactly. Look Checking the first out, hit, but dropping area. shield too early. Sadly, that is going to take game four. MK Big Boss wins the set over Flash Blaziken, knocking him out of the tournament at fifth place. Great games, both of you. Can't wait to see more. A quick update. Oh. Sonics is currently up 2-0 over Capitan Cito, and we are about to bring you BR1 AV versus the Six Meister on this stream. And then we will be switching to the uh, winner of Sonics versus Capitan Cito versus MK Big Boss. All right, so I just got done All watching right. that game. Just, oh my God, if that kill confirm landed, I would have lost it. Yeah. Uh, let me welcome into the chat real quick, Pika. Uh, he's uh, been running the Smash Nerd stream oh. over on YouTube for the rest of... Uh, for sorry for the other half of our uh, streaming uh, pr provisions, I guess you would say. I don't know where yeah, I was going with I, that. I, I, I took the more boring battles, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we've I I believe both streams have had some extremely exciting stuff. And with that, I would like to thank G for joining me on the mic here. He's 
Yeah, you're very welcome. Had a lot of fun. Uh, for Pika, no, man. Don't don't say that, dude. There's a lot of hype matches. And a lot of people kept asking for some of the matches on your stream. Trust me, man. It's all right. Hey, we, we did our goal of covering as many matches as we possibly can of this tournament. We both did an excellent yeah, job. Yeah, it was... I'll oh. tell you one thing. It was the opposite of professional on my channel. It was... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we try yeah. and keep it professional over on the ANG streams. <laughs> I do my best. I but, just you sent know. you the uh, room ID so you can go ahead and hop in here while we get BR and uh, his opponent. Uh, sorry, I'm messaging the two competitors right now to get them in here. 